All right, Will, uh, you have a beer in front of you. Uh, it is the new beer. Tell, tell, just tell me what this beer is and what it represents. Just tell me everything about it. Okay, so really this beer is uh, kind of an expression of when we bring in a, a local artist, you know, we, we really like to make a beer that can match some of the esoteric art that we like to pair with it. So this beer uh, is kind of our take on a Kentucky Mule Ale, um, and so it's kind of the, the bourbon drinker's Moscow Mule, if you will. Uh, there's a little bit of lime juice, some ginger root, uh, and then we age it on bourbon chips. So we don't get a lot of that bourbon character, it's not really overpowering, um, it's, it's nice and light. Is this the longest name for a beer in Schlafly history? Uh, I think so. I, I, I think we got that, that award with this beer for sure. So uh, let's see if I can nail it on this try. Dr. Kentucky's Concoction from his Curious Cabinet, and it is batch 40004. Nailed it. Yes. Got it. Um, you know, the artwork makes this look like he's the, the Dr. Kentucky is sort of a a wild, uh, crazy person who's roaming the Kansas prairie with his uh, his donkey driving a sort of a snake oil. Yeah, totally. Thing. Why, where did this come from, this whole theory of this whole, so, where did it come from? When we started working with Noah, uh, we, we were really trying to figure out some themes and you know, when we, we, we knew the beer was based on more of a cocktail. And so we, we thought we could go one of two directions. And when we chose this direction of kind of taking these weird things out of, of other industries like the cocktail industry and mixing these weird ingredients together in a beer that you don't usually see, we thought, man, that, that's really kind of basic in like the alchemist or witch doctor world and uh, it, it, it's really fun. I love it. What are people gonna taste here? Tell, give us the, the uh, tasting notes if you will. So yeah, in, in the aroma, um, you know, you get a nice little note of ginger, a little bit of that bite, some, some hints of lime, but uh, when you drink it, it's really subtle and nice. It's almost more like a ginger beer. Um, a, a nice carbonation level, a little bubbly on the tongue, some sweet lime up front, and then the ginger bite kind of cleans all that off your palate, and you're left with just a little bourbon note. It, it's really nice and refreshing. What is this beer? What is it? What, what so is it? it's based off of kind of a golden ale, um, but like I said, it also dabbles in this ginger beer beer realm. It's it's kind of toe in the line. Alcohol, uh, eight percent. So <laughs> it'll it'll uh, it'll <laughs> go down easy, but it can hurt you as well. How is this going to be delivered to to the public? I, I see it's in a 750 uh, ml, but talk to me about distribution, where people are going to get it, and that kind of thing. Um, so really, the the beer and the whole artist series project is kind of to talk about our Art Outside Festival, which is really focused on local beer and local art. So we bring in artists from uh, around 120 mile radius, and, and then we just serve a bunch of Schlafly beers. So with this, um, we like to keep it in the St. Louis area, so it'll be uh, uh, mostly St. Louis City and County, maybe a little bit on the east side, um, and then we'll have it at the brew pubs as well. And then uh, for the Art Outside Festival in Memorial Day weekend, we will have uh, a bunch so people can come in and buy it, and we'll have some uh, fun interactive stuff that you can do with the beer and, and the festival as well. But it will not be made available until when? Um, we hope to get it out the, the week of April 6th, um, so, so coming up right around the corner. Uh, so yeah, it'll be in the brew pubs and then you'll start to see some slow distribution out at your fine, uh, fine wine liquor store places like that. Is there anything I haven't asked you about this beer that you think I should need to know, or I would need to know? No, I don't think so. You know, it's, it's something fun and you know, it's something that uh, are, really showcases uh, how much Schlafly supports local artists and, and kind of that local vibe as well as our brewers do amazing things, and this is a prime example of, you know, you put down a cocktail in front of them and said, I bet you can't make this into the beer, and they say, yeah, yeah, we can. So, 